Hello and welcome, audacious kids! Superheroes assemble! That's right, you're joining us on a brand new series called Heroes Gallery. It's like an art yes. gallery, but different because superheroes that have changed the world and done amazing things for God, we put them into the Heroes Gallery so yes. everybody can learn about their great adventures and how God used them to be a hero in their time and to help us learn how we can be heroes in our time. Right now, right here in your school, in your family, you can be a hero too. Yes, the heroes aren't just written about in the Bible or books of history. We too can be the heroes that God has put us on the planet to be. Exactly. And it's, um, it's me, it's Pastor Keith and Pastor Sarah. And it's me, and I just couldn't decide today which superhero cape suits me best. Mm. So I've got I've got this mask. Yeah. And then what do you think? Blue. Blue, good, okay, let oh, me see the next one. Oh. Woo! Red. Nice. Yeah. But I think my favourite. It's the pink one. Oh yes, definitely the pink. And it's got a little bit of purple inside to That's go with your right. audacious kids purple. Very good. Yes! So Heroes Gallery, and we're just so excited for digging deep in the Bible to share with you over the next few weeks some of the incredible men and women that God has put in the Bible to teach us great things. Amazing, amazing. Okay, who is all time top of the list Numero uno, best hero ever. Go. Jesus. Oh, literally, that is it. You can't get any more no. heroic. Jesus, Jesus, who was God, came to the earth and saved literally all of mankind. Yeah. Like, you can't beat that, can you? No, taught us how to pray, did amazing miracles, healed people. Ultimate hero, all time. What's amazing is he still leaves room in the hero's gallery for other people as well. He could just save everybody all the time, but he uses people like me and you and you audacious kids to be a part of helping other people as well. So true. Well, we're going to get started. We're going to get moving and we're going to roll into our timeless Ooh. truth where we're going to learn together another amazing verse from the Bible. Yep. Give the Bible a bit of a whoop whoop. Boop, 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 boop. And then straight from that, we're going to roll into our praise and worship. So wherever you are, at home, in one of our locations, get some yeah. space ready to learn the verse and to praise. All right, here it is. In Hebrews, actually called the Heroes Gallery of Men and Women of Faith in the Bible. Here's the verse.
I'll say with faith, I'm a hero, whatever comes my way. I'll say with faith, I'm a hero, whatever comes my way. I'll say with faith, I'm a hero, whatever comes my way. I'll say with faith, I'm a hero. Strong in the struggle, we have a champion. Brave every battle, God says we're gonna win. Destined for greatness, more than a conqueror. Jesus who loves us, he says, I'm a hero. Hi, welcome everyone to the Heroes Gallery Help Group. Uh, it's lovely to see some new faces here. I'm the moderator, and I'm looking forward to helping some of our heroes who've had a bit of trouble to maybe one day make it into the Heroes Gallery. Oh, we have a new identity for one of our longtime members. Laser Fist, that's a bit of an interesting look you're going for today. I'm not called Laser Fist anymore, mate. I'm called Ratmaster from now on, mate. Oh. We can discuss that in a moment, but before we do, let's all do our positivity phrase. Yes. <laughs> let's get ready. <clears throat> we are heroes. Heroes lie within. Whether we make it to the gallery or not, we'll try our best to win. All right. Great. Now, um, rap masters that you want to be called by now? It's a very strange choice that you've made there. I mean, weren't you supposed to be fighting evil today? That's what, you know, your laser fist was needed to combat the evil Dr. Baron Babelwatt and his army of giant head lice. Well, that's the past, and that had to change. So becoming a rap master was the change. Right, yes. Well, uh, I'm just gonna say this now. I don't really wanna hurt your feelings, but look at the things that you're good at. Weren't you really good at shooting lasers from your fists? And now I'm great at rapping, so my power is being great at rapping. Yeah, but you're not going to be able to defeat Dr. Bubblebot with your rapping, are you? Oh well, that's a shame, because now I've changed my name. Shame. He, he's, uh, he, he's scared of Dr. Bubblebot. He's scared of getting head lice. Ah, uh, I see. Is it this again? That... Did you do the research that I asked you to do last week? Yeah? And you looked up Daniel and the, and the lion's den? Of course I read about the man called Daniel. He was the best ice cream man. The man, Daniel. No, you didn't do my homework, did you? That's not the, the sign that I... Right. Uh, laser fit, rap master. Let's watch the screen uh, and find out about the real hero, Daniel, and what we can learn from him. Stories of the Bible, Daniel in the Lion's Den. This is Daniel, oh, hey. who was a Jewish man who was taken to Babylon when he was very young. Mm -hmm. Daniel loved God and followed God's rules. He talked to God three times a day and asked God for help often. Daniel served in the Babylonian king's court for many years. Yeah, I know him. And under many kings. Daniel. Daniel always proved himself to be more capable than all the other court officials. I hear a lot of things. Well, anytime. Daniel was serving under King Darius, and because of his great abilities, the king made plans to place him in charge of the entire empire. Wow, okay. The other court officials searched for some fault in Daniel, but they couldn't find anything wrong with him. He was faithful, responsible, and completely trustworthy. Ah, wait. The court officials realized the only way to get at Daniel would be to challenge his faith. Come on! So they went to King Darius. <laughs> 
Excuse me, Your Majesty. And advised him to make a law that for the next 30 days, any person who prays to anyone except King Darius will be thrown into the lion's den. I like it. King Darius signed this law, and once a Babylonian king signed a law, it could not be overruled. When Daniel learned of this law, he went home and knelt down, as he always did, to pray in his room with the windows open towards Jerusalem. He prayed three times a day, just as he always had done, giving thanks to God and asking for his help. The officials went to Daniel's house and found him praying. Gotcha! They went to the king and reminded him of the law. I remember. Well... Then they said that Daniel had been found praying to God three times a day. What? When the king heard this, he was very upset. Get over here. And he spent the whole day trying to think of a way to save Daniel. Wait, what? By that evening, the court officials came back to the king <coughs> and reminded him that no law signed by the Babylonian king could be overruled. So at last, the king gave orders for Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den. The king said to him, May your God, who you serve faithfully, rescue you. Then the lion's den was sealed shut with Daniel inside. The king spent the night fasting and couldn't sleep. Then very early in the morning, the king hurried to the lion's den. He called out, Hey Daniel! Was your God able to rescue you from the lions? And Daniel answered, Long live the king! My God sent his angel to shut the lion's mouths so that they would not hurt me, for I have been found innocent in his sight. The king was overjoyed and ordered that Daniel be taken out of the lion's den. Then the king ordered the men who had schemed against Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den as punishment. Daniel was safe. There was not a scratch on him, for he trusted in God. Daniel was great. Is that why he's in the hero's gallery then? Because who knew he was in God? Exactly well done, Ra You didn't rap it, did you? Why would I? I'm not a rap master. I'm Laser Fist, and I ain't scared of any giant head lice. Laser Fist, to the rescue! Yay! Hi, audacious kids. It's Anita here. What a story. Guys, like, I'm just blown away. I thought a hero was somebody who had massive muscles or somebody who had a super blowing cape. But actually, Daniel was a hero and he used his superpowers, which were, and this like blows me away, audacious kids, was prayer, seeking God and trusting. Wow, who even knew? that those three things could be superpowers. Because I know if I was in a den with some lions, I would be fearful. I would, I'd maybe even cry. I'd be afraid. I might have wobbly legs. But actually, Daniel taught us some new superhero powers and moves that allowed him to be able to stay safe in the lion's den. And those feelings of being fearful, wobbly legs, feeling sad inside, they can happen in different places. They can happen at home, they can happen at school, they can happen in your friendship groups. And I just want to encourage you today, audacious kids, that you too can use those superhero powers of prayer, of seeking God and trusting. And in any situations you go in where you feel like you're Daniel in the lion's den, that God will make a way using those superpowers for you. So I just wanna pray for you now, audacious kids, as you go back into your week as superheroes. Let's pray together. Thank you, God, for our beautiful children. And we just ask now that you will keep them safe and that you will just continue to encourage them to use their superpowers so that when they are in any situation, that you are with them too, Lord. Amen. Well, kids, I've had a great time. Thank you so much for tuning in to Audacious Kids, and we'll see you next time.